Ooh. Trying to leave on uh, a neutral is never good. We're going ice fishing. It's December 1st, I think. Yeah, December 1st. And we're headed ice fishing. Our target, walleye, crappie, and pike. With the intention to get into some crappies, but uh, we'll go after whatever. I got some new bait I want to try. I really want to put some time behind them, so that's uh, one thing I want to try. Oh my God, Tim Horton's busy here. Right into the street. Whew. Trying to get into this maze of traffic. Yeah, so we're gonna get out ice fishing to to catch some walleye and some crappies. We're gonna get out there, test the new cameras. I got some new cameras that should be pretty cool for you guys to see through. I mean, we'll be filming in 4K when I have you on my head or my chest, so, you know, we're moving from the good old 1080p and we're going to the 4K. Too safe on the side. I got my spud bar. Oh, see, I was gonna get for, forget my ice fix. Gotta get the ice fix out around my neck. Ready to go. Ice fix ready to go. Actually, not bad. If somebody's been here already. This is how much ice we got. And we're gonna get out and try to get some crappies, some walleye, some some pike, and potentially some musky. Musky's open till uh, the 15th, so I'm gonna try that. I'll let you guys know how I do. Got everything in here. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna transfer you guys to the chesty now. Guys, wonder what it does when you lose your truck. That's what happens with the K drill. It does float. So this is this is one of the main lure that I brought in this year that I really want to try. It's been a hot staple for crappy, and I'm thinking for perch, even whitefish will be money. It's a very small. It's a very small bait. Get it out of the package. I wish I didn't take white, but I got all the colors with me. And this is what we'll be trying. It's super small, uh, but it's perfect for crappy. Enough to put a bead for perch or minnow head or, or even a pinhead. And perfect, perfect for whitefish. It's got some weight to it too. This is 116, and that's what that's what I want to try today. I want to really want to try to catch fish on this bait. All right, these guys think I'm in trouble. There's six inches of ice. I got floater suit, my ice picks. How about you? I mean, there's six inches of ice. I'm experienced. I got my ice pick. I got my floater suit. I, I give ice safety. I know all that. But I know. The problem is because I was on my knees, so they think I'm the way down. I'll just stand up. I understand. No, no, no. Because no. I'm on my knees fishing. That's why. Just to be up here and, and be safe. And I'm enjoying it. I'm not doing any trouble. Well, I, know you I mean, are, that's I'm... on shore, and it's almost 
way better over there. I appreciate that 100%. Yeah. At least set it up and then people know. I'll get, I'll get my buddy to come. He's from here. He, he got a hut? Yeah, I'll get him to bring a hut. We're going to be here tonight. So you see the big thing and you're inside the hut there. Yeah, yeah. Even if you're out, like it, as, long, as soon as the hut's set up, they'll understand it's someone fishing. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll wait for him. Great. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So I'm out here. So these guys want me to get off the lake. There's almost six, you know, six inches of ice. Good ice too. And what happened is these guys thought I was on my knees beside my little, my little sleigh, and they thinking I'm giving CPR to somebody. Um. So I'm just gonna pack it in and wait for my buddy to come with his hut. Respect the firefighters, their volunteers. It didn't even look like they had the gear to really come get me. I'm more prepared than they are. So, ah, now I gotta pack her in because some uneducated person I, I mean, not uneducated, I shouldn't say that. Because somebody was thinking I was giving CPR to somebody. I don't want to wreck those guys' days. I don't want to get them bugged up. So I'm just going to pull out and respect their wishes. How many people are called? One? At least one, a few maybe, but at least this way. If you just take this and set up, yeah. That's crazy, man. Fish. Well, that's why I said to Brian, too. I, was like, I fish a lot, ice fish a lot. This is super safe, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm alone, too, so right. if it's sketchy, I don't go out. But right. this. Yeah, I might just wait for him to come out. Well, like, I mean, you don't have to. As soon as they'll see the shelter out there, then they'll realize what's going on, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. It's, you're so far out there. That it like, looks it looks like right somebody, because I was on my knees. That's right. why. I, it made sense. Right. I'd rather somebody calls in right, if sure. something happens, right? right. But just, just this way, now they're going to see that and go, oh, people are ice fishing out there. And then, yeah, right? So. All right, guys. So I'm with Ryan Johnson here. Hello. So it's getting dark. We're going to try to get as much as possible out here. The cameras are dying because it's cold. We're on good ice, so we're gonna hop, hop around these holes and try to get some get some going. Yeah. So hopefully you guys can tune in on the chesty there. All right. So I just drill about 20 holes. Brian's over there with the gas auger. He just drill about 30 holes, and uh, we're just gonna hole hop, see what see what's up. Another perch. I found the perch, that's for sure. I'm gonna do this here. Scent, you know, on a hard bait, sometimes scent is good. Oh, he's got a crappie. Brian got the first crappie. I spent the whole day here. He drills his first hole and he catches one. It's hard for a little bit. I was like, I hope this year. <laughs> he caught one. First one of the day. He goes back down. That's about average size, right? You make it a little bigger than that. Nice, nice. Where'd you catch one? I got here. Show me. A little white tube. Yeah, actually an X-Zone uh, crappy tube that glows in the dark. Nice. Oh, I got to go in the dark too as well. Huh. You can almost see it glow right now. Right. That's why I, got, I carry a light too, just to... Yeah. A little bit. Slash me up, bud. <laughs> Another one. While he unhooks this bad boy, I'm going to poach his hole. Do it. Two for two for B. Ray Johnson. 
Sea bass is minus five with five perch. Hey, I got two perch over there too, I just didn't tell you. We're here? Yeah, well over there. He's a dink though. Yeah. But still, man, I mean, it was November yesterday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got one. Oh, that's a good one. Here's the first crappie of the year. Nice. Congratulations. Finally. <laughs> Fished all day. All right, he goes back in. Right, he's coming back now. You got him. Nice crappy. Look how bad he choked that, guys. Double hatter. So we got two. Two crappy. They're aggressive right now. Like you said, it's at night. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to hurry up and put them back in the hole behind so they don't scare anything. We're going to go back down. We're going to put them back here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we own the craps, bud. Little guy. Tony. I didn't even reel. I, I did the... <laughs> Coming back up. Got him. <laughs> the good old sea bass lift and jerk. Man, that bait's money. Money, man. Here's another one. I'm gonna dunk him back in here quick because I want to get on fish before it's too dark. Oh, missed one, missed one, missed one. Brian with the crappie. I'm gonna try to... Here's one coming up. Oh, God! Here's another one. As I turn the camera off. That's a good size one, you know. So fast. You gonna get one, bud? Oh, he went all the way up for it. Oh man. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we got of course I'm talking, there's one showing up. That's a good one. No, I just got my drag pretty low. So it's really finicky because you see my bait is here. This is, the bottom's almost at 13 feet. This is all weeds. So we can't fish that. We got to really pay attention. Those crappies are coming off the weeds and hitting our bait. So we're just naking the top of the weeds. They come off, we see them, and then we, we try to get them. All right, so a lot of people ask about my setup. Yeah, just a 36-inch just a medium from Wright and McGill. 10-pound fluorocarbon. I got about a uh, four-pound fluorocarbon leader. We're fishing for crappie here. Um, you got my fish finder and my sled, and as soon as I get to the hole, I dump it in here so it's easier so I don't have to get the thing out all the time. I got my camera. I got my my aqua view. I got my all my tackle over here, and on my backpack, I have my other cameras. And of course, I got the K drill. You know, everybody knows I like the K drill. The Milwaukee setup. Yeah, what's up, guys? I just got back home from fishing with Brian. Thanks a lot, Brian. Big shout out. Check him out on Instagram. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Bar Almin. And uh, if you got any questions, put them in the comment below. I try to answer everybody as much as I can. Thanks for tuning in. And see you on the next podcast or the next video.